Welcome to another math tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at finding measures of center and variation from a set of data. We're going to use a, an exercise from Mar Mario Triola's 11th edition of elementary statistics. So, in this case, we're given a list of numbers representing the numbers of words found on pages in a dictionary. And we're going to compute the measures of center, such as the mean and the median, and measures of variation, such as standard deviation, using our calculator. So the first thing is, when we get our calculator up, is to turn it on. So press the stat button. This menu comes up, and you want to choose number one, edit. You could type one, or you could just hit enter. And then you're presented with L1, L2, L3. If you happen to have some data in here already, I'll just throw some numbers in here, and you want to get rid of it, then the way to get rid of it and clear a column is you use the arrows and you go all the way up to the top to like go up here and it's highlighting the name of the column and then you hit clear enter okay so do that to clear out any numbers that might already be in there and then now what we do is we just go ahead and enter the data that we had coming from the example 51, 63, 36, 43, 34 62, 73, 39, 53, and 79. So we enter those all in, and then I can I make sure, I can scroll up and down and make sure that I've typed them in correctly. And then now I'm ready to find the median and deviation. So I go to stat, so press stat again, and then now instead of going to edit, you're going to go to the right to the calc option. So hit the right arrow to go to calc, and you're going to choose the first option there, one variable stats. Hit enter. Now this computes, or it's about to, once I hit enter again, it's going to compute the one variable statistics, which include the mean and the median and the deviation um, from the column of data. The default column that it takes the numbers from is L1, and that's where I put them. So if I just hit enter right now, it would give me what I'm looking for. On the other hand, if you chose to put the data in a different column, like L2 or L3, you would need to tell it here to use L2 or L3 before you hit enter. And the way you get to that is you hit, down here you can see L1, L2, L3 in yellow. You could hit second L1, second one, that gives you L1, second two gives you L2, second three gives you L3. Okay, so I could just hit enter here, but just to show you how it goes, I'm going to hit second L1 to tell it L1. Now hit enter. And then there we are. The sample mean X bar is 53.3. Here's the sample standard deviation, 15.65 and some change. Here would be the population deviation if I was computing from a population. And if I hit the arrows to go down, I could see here's some more things. The minimum first quartile, median is 52, third quartile, and the maximum of all the data values. So that is a very short um, tutorial on how to find the one variable statistics, the measures of center, and measures of variation for a set of data using your TI-83 graphing calculator. 